ship back to me in a week or two. I am bringing a traveling companion with me. It's a cat, you guys. I'm bringing a cat with me. This is Francis. Hi, Francis. Francis has been my office cat or my desk cat in the office where I work for the past month or two. Francis showed up as a stray a couple of months ago at the farm where I work and we have been feeding him and I bring him into the office every day with me to hang out with us and he loves everybody and everybody loves him but I can't take him home because I have three cats so when Ken told me that he was looking for a cat I thought oh my god this is perfect. It just couldn't be any more of a perfect scenario right? So wish us luck we are on our way to Michigan to see Ken Fisher of Dandy Randas. Hey Francis. Francis and I made it. Didn't we, buddy? Yes, we did. He loves his new home. He's going to be so spoiled here. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm finally here at Dandy Aranda's and oh my gosh, it's just like a mind blown moment because I've been looking at photos of these fish online for years and years now and appreciating their beauty two dimensionally, I guess you could say, but this is the first time that I've really seen a lot of these varieties in person up close and to be able to fully appreciate their chunkiness and all the bright colors, all the different varieties in person and up close, it has just been amazing. There's literally tank after tank of fish that are more beautiful than the last ones that you just saw and it's a little bit mind-blowing and it's pretty awesome pretty cool so I'm just gonna keep looking around the fish room and a little bit later on we're gonna film an interview video so I can ask Ken some questions and find out some stuff about Dandy Randas for you guys so that's gonna be coming up probably in another video this is so cool you guys the Dandy Aranda setup is in the basement of Ken's house and his entire basement is just covered wall to wall. Every bit of floor space is taken up by tanks full of water for all these fish that he has. And he's got these systems that he got from a Petland store that was closing that have a whole bunch of fish in them, but he also has a whole bunch of tubs that I think are from Tractor Supply. They're like the 110 gallon tubs, just full of fish, more tanks full of fish. And then there's a whole nother wall down this way that's all full of fish. And then at the end of the hallway, there's even more fish. And then if you go uh, back the other direction, there's even more fish. So it's just like, it goes on and on and on forever. This tank of Calico Ranchu was so, so awesome. I really loved these fish. They were so cool to watch and they were so chunky and huge. Usually when I see Ranchu on the auction website, I feel like they're gonna be small. But when I saw these in person, I was like, oh my gosh, that's like a, that's a handful of a fish right there. And I really like the one in here that's got a bit more black and a more elongated slim body. I just think it's so pretty and so cute. These Ranchu, almost made me want to get some raunchu and start a raunchu tank but no i gotta i gotta stick to my roots i gotta stay true to my butterflies but these are awesome fish too wow and you can see how chunky they are in the hand This is a tank full of broadtail Ryukins. These fish were so beautiful. Of course, as soon as we turned off the filter to get some video, they all stopped swimming. But these fish had huge, beautiful tails that look like butterfly tails, but they're called broadtails, and they're gorgeous. 
This fish is a calico butterfly that I actually won in the auction a couple of weeks ago. And so this is my fishy and I got to see it in person before it's gonna ship to me, which was so cool. These two crown pearl scales were so interactive and so friendly and so cute. I especially love the one with less black on it because it has a little, what I call Marilyn Monroe beauty mark next to its mouth. And then there was a couple tanks full of bubble eye goldfish and these guys are so active and so spunky. It was really cool to see these bubble eyes, which you typically think of as just kind of fish that lay there and don't move much, actually like swimming around and being silly and cute. Here we got a tank full of some ingot arandas and then a couple of other standard arandas. Really cool fish in person. Again, just a really chunky fish and it was really neat to see the big head growth on these fish too. Here's some more broad tail Ryukins. We've got a couple red ones in front and then a short tail, a couple short tail Ryukins in there as well. These fish are so cool. They're really, really round and really fat. I really loved this Ryukin with the really long fluffy tail and I think that one is already sold. So it was just sitting in here waiting to be sent to the winner. Oh, and the polka dot fish in the back too is really awesome. I really like this broad tail Ryukin in the front with the red and white pattern on its face. I thought it was so pretty and so cute. And then of course, here's another room that's full of more tanks and more fish. This one had a lot of fish in it. Here are a whole bunch of Ranchu, so many Ranchu. If you're a Ranchu fan, you would have felt like you died and went to heaven being here, seriously. So many Ranchu. And here you can see that Ken is feeding them some Soylent Green and they're loving it. Ken feeds the fish twice a day and he literally cut up a huge cookie sheet full of Soylent Green just for like one or two feedings. It's crazy how much food he goes through for this many fish. These were some really awesome, really dark black Shabunkins that have really cool patterns and they're also a really strong hardy fish and they do well in ponds too. And of course, butterflies. These are actually ones that I handpicked myself and there's about nine fish here, a mix of red and whites, calicos and a black one too, that I get to have sent back to me in a couple of weeks and I'm so excited, ridiculously so. Aren't they so beautiful in top view? You can really see the nice spread on the butterfly tail. That mostly white one with the red marking along its back is my favorite fish. Here's a group of super cute orange arandas. I really like how their tails look kind of frilly and fluffy and just really awesome. These are great fish. And of course, the black comets, which are probably a mix, a hybrid between a koi and a comet, but they keep their black color throughout their life and they are super cool fish. They're really, really unique and distinctive looking and very voracious eaters, as you can see. <laughs> Some more calico ranchu, so many ranchu, you guys, seriously. This was a really cool black and white short tail Ryukin.
And then he has an indoor pool, but he doesn't use it as a pool. He uses it to store more fish. So you guys, Ken is serious about his fish. He has it partitioned off so that the shallow end is where the goldfish are. And then in the deep end, he has a few koi just for fun. But these goldfish are living the life. And then as if there wasn't enough fish inside, there's more outside too. There were tons and tons of tubs outside and this huge circular one had a whole bunch of butterflies in it. And this tub has a whole bunch of Ranchu, Ryukin, Oranda, and even some butterfly. And here Ken is showing me a purple butterfly, which was really awesome. And then he had some pretty big red and white butterfly out here too that were really cool to see. This is where I chose a couple of my fish from as well. And then more tubs, because why not, right? Of course, more broadtail Ryukins. These fish are super, super impressive in person. Even in the auction, they look beautiful, but when you see them in person, it's just like a whole nother level of amazing beauty. <laughs> This Ranchu was probably one of the coolest ones I saw. It's a tricolor for now. Of course, unfortunately, that color is probably going to change. Ken told me that he has about 1,500 fish right now. That's 1,500 fish, you guys. Can you even imagine taking care of that many fish? I can't. These Arandas were so, so cool. They especially look awesome from the top view, but from the side, they're pretty cool as well. They are pom-pom Arandas, so they've got nice head growth, standard Aranda body and tail, but then they've got those huge narial bouquets on their face that are just so cute. Another really cool butterfly. I like that this one has a white head with a mostly red body. It reminds me of a fish I used to have, actually. This red broadtail Ryukin was super, super chunky. Here you can see my butterfly swimming around. She's mostly white with the red stripe on her back and some red on her belly too. This is the first glimpse that I saw of her and I knew immediately that I had to have this fish because she is gorgeous. She's basically perfect as far as what I look for in a butterfly telescope.
It might look like these fish are crammed in here in small spaces and not enough gallons per fish, but that's because Ken changes about 10,000 gallons of water every day. And a lot of these are on automated systems for water changing too. In order to keep this many fish to be able to sell them, he has to kind of overcrowd them slightly, but he makes up for that by changing water like a crazy person. <laughs> All the fish I saw looked super healthy and looked like they were in great, great condition. Anytime you have this many fish together in one place, you're gonna have a couple that aren't looking so good. But Ken told me, and I saw firsthand actually, the care that he takes with these fish. Ken is really conscientious about the fish that he sends and he'll never send anybody a fish that he knows has problems. And there was a huge tank full of pretty much just butterflies, mostly red and white, and they were all so, so cute. This is where I selected some of my fish from as well. And of course, here's my tank of fish that I picked out again. I picked them from outside, so Ken is going to bring them inside and hold them for a couple of weeks just to make sure that they're all good. And I think he's gonna put them through a mild treatment as well and then send them to me. And I'm super excited for that. It can't come soon enough. My two favorites would have to be the black one and then that red and white one that you can see. I really love them. fun weekend, but oh my gosh, I barely got any sleep because 